Question 46, everybody, gives us a parallelogram. It says, given that figure A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, what are the coordinates of point C? This is unbelievably easy. If you just take a look at point A and point D, notice what happens. Point A is at 2, comma 2. D is at 4, comma 4. That means it moved over, basically, plus 2 and plus 2. So that when we look at B, we are simply going to add 2, to 6 and 2 to 2 because it was a change of 2 and 2. That means 6 has got to be at 8 and 4 and you can see that that is answer C. Really not much uh, to that one uh, at all when you think about it. And the same is true for the next one. Let's just uh, go on to 47 now if we could. And notice what it says. It says a regular hexagon is made from equilateral triangle ABC by cutting along the dotted lines and removing the three smaller triangles. If triangle ABC is a perimeter of 18, what is the perimeter of the hexagon? Well, really, just try to remember how you determine the perimeter of a triangle first, and that's really pretty easy if you just remember or look right here. You have a triangle, and to get its perimeter, to get its perimeter, that's like walking around all of the sides of that triangle, it is simply side plus side plus side. It's like walking around a fence. We're not trying to determine the area, the how much uh, space it occupies, but just simply the length of the sides added up. That's the perimeter. Well, they give us that. It's 18. And you know that 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 18. So, look. Look at what's happening here. On side a b of this triangle that's a length of that has a length of 6 for ac that has a length of 6 for bc that has a length also of 6 now what are we trying to figure out we're trying to figure out the perimeter of the hexagon so let me try to draw that in here carefully for you and remember that all sides are going to be equal we'll look at a B, this side of the triangle from here to here. Since we've cut off these little triangles that we made, we know that this line right here is 2, and this side is 2, and this side is 2, but we are after the sides of the hexagon. So let's write a number 2 in here. That side's 2, this side's 2, that side's 2, that side is 2, this side is 2, and that side's 2. So when we add up all of these twos for our hexagon, if you want, I can dr try to draw a hexagon as best I can. All of its sides, in order to get the perimeter, remember, is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Let's see if I got en enough twos here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, I don't. Plus 2. When you add them all together, you know that you get 12. That's answer C. So that's how you do that one. Um, again, hopefully that was nice and clear to you, and you know what to do if it wasn't. All right, we'll go on to the next.